let's do part A. In part A, we calculate gravitational force exerted by sun on moon. So gravitational force, uh, gravitational force exerted uh, exerted by sun on moon by sun on moon right so let's make the following assumptions number one since the moon orbits the earth it is reasonable to use the radial distance between the sun and the earth in the calculation so radial distance uh, radial distance uh, between the sun uh, between the sun and the earth and the earth in the calculation in the calculation right and number two well assume the orbital period of the moon around the sun is also the same as earth's so assume uh, the orbital uh, let's uh, write down t for the orbital period so t uh, of the moon around the sun of the moon around the sun is also the same is also the same as earth's right okay now uh, Let's calculate the radial distance. Well, radial distance R is given by uh, cube root of uh, G times mass of sun times T square divided by 4 pi square. And by substituting values, we have uh, root 3 into G. Well, G is 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 right multiply by mass of sun is 2 times 10 to the power 30 and then we have uh, the orbital period let's convert into seconds 65 multiply by 24 multiply by 3600 whole square right divided by 4 pi square or pi square so r is equal to 1.5 multiplied by 10 to the power 11 meter okay now uh, let's find out the gravitational force exerted by sun on moon for that we apply a uh, law of universal gravitation so force of sun on moon is equal to g times which is gravitational acceleration mass of sun times mass of moon divided by r square so by substituting values 6.67 multiply by 10 to the power minus 11 uh, times 2 multiply by 10 to the power 30 multiply by 7.35 multiply by 10 to the power 22 uh, divided by r square which is 1.5 multiplied by 10 to the power 11 whole square therefore the force exerted by sun on moon is 4.36 multiplied by 10 to the power 20 newton right and uh, now let's calculate force exerted by earth on moon so uh, the force exerted by earth on moon force exerted by earth on moon is equal to g times uh, mass of earth times mass of moon divided by r square 
well here um, by substituting values 6.67 multiply by 10 to the power minus 11 mass of earth is 6 times 10 to the power 24 and mass of moon is 7.35 multiply by 10 to the power 22 divided by r square well r is 3.8 multiply by 10 to the power 8 whole square therefore gravitational force uh, exerted by earth on moon is equal to 2.04 multiply by 10 to the power 20 uh, Newton. Now, uh, so this was uh, the case. Uh, force exerted by Earth on the moon is 2.04 multiply by 10 to the power uh, 20 Newtons. Well, the universal law of gravitation obeys Newton's third law. Uh, therefore, force uh, exerted by earth on moon is equal to force exerted by moon on earth and the magnitude of force is equal to 2.04 multiplied by 10 to the power 20 newton